feet. See how it goes skinny here and then wide here? And then once again, once you got your show filled, and then if you're doing, not doing trees, close up trees, you'll have to watch this. Um, this, this is kind of brown here. So I'm going to shift that over to a little more gray. So once again, when people do trees, they love brown. It's like they love brown dirt. So try to go a little more gray with it. And then with this reference, it's kind of a gray with a little bit of the tiny bit of burnt umber and whatnot. And then no tumors on your trees though. So if this is that wide, we're going to have to extend it, maybe do a, another larger thing. So you can't go wider and then skinnier with trees. So as you go with the trees, I'm going to make first make sure that it never gets skinnier. So anytime it gets wider, I got to make sure that nothing beyond this point is any uh, skinnier than this. And then to make it more jig jaggedy, so instead of like round, you want to avoid like the round hoopties. So being this kind of like uh, bend it out so it was like a little branch, branch, and then all of a sudden that turns into a branch. <laughs> so if it goes oh, into hi. a branch, this makes sense. So you can do that where it like it was a branch, and then anytime you have a big ass branch, big. Buttocks, branch, camera scare me. Okay, then anytime you have a branch coming out, then you can get the tree smaller, but it can't taper naturally. Uh, if it does, it just takes forever. And so here, we got this thing ending like a little nub, like a little prosthetic limb. Speaking of which, I saw a fugitive yesterday. It was a pretty good one. Okay, so. No, it's been years. Yeah, good movie. So then, watch this. So from here, what I'm going to do is. I got this width right here, and then with the brush strokes, instead of like choppy brush strokes, you actually do continue the brush strokes. You can go from skinny, then you can make them wider, and then make them skinnier again. But you do want them to create the illusion of going like, uh, like longer strokes. Then, here's this little thing here. So it does kind of end, but I'm gonna keep this and then go here, out, and then have it end a little more slowly. So you can kind of see how I extended that by this lightning bolt technique. So write down geometric branches. Think of them almost like lightning. And then I'm going to do the same thing with this one. And then, so then I only have two, so it looks like a snail kind of. So then what I'm going to do is like every time it bends, you can add another branch. So you can add another branch anytime it, like I could put another branch here, or here, or here, but you can't put a branch here. Does that make sense? I think it does. Okay. So then I'm going to follow the contours. This branch technically can't happen. Like branches can't really grow down. So I would probably have this attached to a magical branch. I don't know what's going on there. Good job following the reference though. So the reference, uh, you got to be careful of like following your Sometimes the people that are painting these things uh, are crazy. So I'm going to add another. So if you have a branch problem, you can always attach it to another tree that's out of the picture. And then this will turn into uh, a branch that's coming all the way out. <clears throat> but anyways, I'll focus more on this section here. I'll finish that little area. So with this, I'm going to do the gray. And then uh, if you look at your sky color, this is blue. Um, so I can do a little bit of like a cerulean blue in there. Always put some of your background color into your trees. You can't ignore those. So I can do like a bluish brown. So you can kind of see that uh, color there. So I have the highlight over here, so this is going to be the darker value. And then with the brush strokes, this is only one type of tree uh, texture. I'm going to gradually make the texture lighter and lighter. And I'm going to go like skinny wide, connect it, and then following the contours of the tree, and then each brush stroke is going to turn it into something that looks like the bark. But you can see I'm like linking this color with that atmosphere color. And the further back you go, make sure you write down uh, the tree should look more and more like the same value as the sky, maybe 10% darker. Those will be like the very far background trees. And it's a decent amount of lube on the uh, paint. Then for the highlight, same thing. Then I'll go over 
as you put brighter and brighter values on there, you can only put bright values on your medium tones. So you can't put really light values on the tones of your tree that don't have the, the mid values established yet. So this is like a stylized tree, it's not realistic. I can show you a realistic style. William Bogero does a, kind of the same thing with the, the dirt where he uses like a palette knife. Okay, so I'm just like, a little bit of loom, milk the kitten, and then come in here in his small little choppy brush strokes. But the, the brush strokes are kind of like individual. As the branches get smaller, note that the texture becomes less because they're newer, newer branches. So in other words, as it gets older and fatter down here, then you can exaggerate the, uh, the textures to them. So then you can have like much darker values and lighter values. So you can see how divided it is, but it just this is a stylized tree. Uh, this for like the, the grain, you can also look up Nathan Oda. So Nathan Oda does this style as well. That's not the reference, but look how fast it is though. Like that single brush strokes, way faster. Then for the shadows, this is my base coat. For the shadows, I'm going to take the uh, kind of a grayish brown, but a dark gray, and then take that and do the same thing for the shadow. So then I can exaggerate those contrasts in there, because uh, to art really to pop off the page, you really got to exaggerate values. You have to have highlights, shadows. And you can put some shadows in here as well. Like I'll do a little crack on the tree. Everybody likes crack tree. So I'm going to go here, like a wide little gap. And then to make that look like a crack, so far it's just a black line. But if I do a highlight on the side of it, if I do a small highlight, then it all of a sudden starts sort of reading more of a crack. Then you gotta like fade it out a little bit, otherwise it'll look like a snake on the tree. A little white albino snake. So those are some of the textures. Now I'll come in with some more highlights on top. But it's a stylized way of making the branches, and it's pretty dang fast. Realism, I'll show you that guys later. Different show. Alright, tree magic. I'm here all night. <laughs>